There is no way to routinely test for every possible pathogen that could be in water. Therefore, the focus is on making sure that the multiple barriers are in place and operating properly. The U.S. Federal Surface Water Treatment Rule requires multiple methods of treatment to ensure removal and or inactivation of possible pathogenic organisms that threaten public health. For surface water systems, this generally means filtration plus disinfection. Disinfection is the term used to describe the treatment process used to destroy or inactivate disease-causing organisms. Sterilization is the eradication of all life forms. Water is not sterilized, it is disinfected, made safe to drink. Primary disinfection during water treatment is designed to kill harmful microorganisms before the water enters the distribution system. In addition, a disinfectant residual can be applied to the water that will be entering the distribution system to deter the growth of microorganisms and to protect against contamination in the system. This secondary disinfection refers to the addition of the disinfectant before the first customer and is applied to maintain a chlorine or chloramine residual throughout the distribution system. Sometimes a single dose serves for both primary and secondary disinfection. Drinking water utilities rely on the multiple barrier concept to ensure safe water. That includes source water protection, filtration, disinfection, maintenance of the distribution system infrastructure such as backflow prevention and secured storage, and operator components. This video will focus on disinfection. There are multiple ways to disinfect water. These include heat treatment, as in boiling, ultraviolet radiation or UV, and chemical treatment such as chlorine. 